probably the most common thing that we hear every single day. And not only in this academy, I could be at a baseball game, we, we, we go to follow a lot of our students at games, is swing level, okay? And I, there, you can't tell me none of you guys are teaching your kids to swing level. I hear it every day. You don't swing level at a baseball, okay? That's bad. And here's why. Basically, when you go to swing level, no matter how hard you try, okay, and I don't want to, I, I hate never or impossible, but when you try to swing level with your hands, if you notice my bat is slightly elevated downward. And 99.9% .9 of the time when a player misses a baseball, it's always under the ball. Very rarely will you see a player miss the baseball, you know, swing over a baseball. Okay? It's different in the major leagues if you're taking a swing and somebody's got a filthy, nasty sinker or something, that's different. But we're talking in you know, younger players, you'll never see them out over the baseball. They're swinging, they hear your dad yelling, swing level, swing level, and they're swinging level, but they're missing. You know? And every time they miss, it's either swing level, swing early, there's a bunch of cliches that we're throwing at our kids, and that's not the answer. And tonight we're going to learn the answers as to wh why that is. One of the fundamental building blocks that we do here is we teach kids to swing down at the baseball. Um, I, I don't want to say criticized because I've never been criticized in the past, but I've heard rumblings, you know, in the, uh, you know before where I've heard people say, oh, this, this guy in the New England baseball, he teaches kids to chop down at the ball. What is that? I never heard that chop down stuff, you know. So it, some people might just hear that you know, take it real literal and, you know, don't really understand uh, the context of it. So I want to make sure that you guys, you know, come away with this and understanding it the right way tonight. When you swing at a baseball, yes, you want your bat level at contact. You do. But we just talked about earlier that if you try to swing level, your bat almost always will be, you know, hanging down. But if you notice when I, and I use the word chop, when my young students, the first thing I, Chop, chop, you know, five, six, seven years old, eight years old, I'm chopping. You know, if I got a college kid or a high school kid or an older mature player, we don't use the word chop, we swing down. But sometimes you need little dramatic, you know, hook words with very young players, something that they could sink their teeth into and remember. So if you watch me chop, if you will, down at the baseball, there's my level bat. Okay, so yes, you want the bat level at contact, but how you get it level is by swinging down to the baseball, not by swinging level. So every time you tell your kid to take a level swing, most of the time he's missing, he's fouling, he's popping up, he's hitting that ball down the line. You need to learn, teach him to swing down through the baseball. And I'm going to elaborate a little bit more on this, and I don't, I don't want to overcomplicate it, but this really is important. And again, I'm, I'm, I probably wouldn't talk like this to a five-year-old, okay? But I would to like an eight or nine-year-old, okay? So if I'm telling little Johnny to swing down and he swears he's swinging down, but he's still kind of popping up or hitting lazy fly balls up, you know, sometimes you'll see a little frustration in his face. So I'll stop and I'll say, John, I want to show you something, okay? You know what? You are swinging down, but I want to show you something. So I'll say, you know, Johnny, am I swinging down right now? He goes, the first thing he wants to say, he knows this is the wrong way to swing. So he goes, no, I go, what do you mean no? I said, aren't my hands going down? Yeah. Is my bat going down? Yeah. Well, then I'm swinging down, right? Yeah, I guess so. I go, okay. So I said, based on what I just taught you, isn't this the right angle, you know, the way to swing? Yeah. Okay, so if this would be the best way to swing, this is probably the worst way, right? Yeah. I said, okay, so in between the best way and the worst way are a lot of different angles, you know, that we could be swinging at, right? Yeah. Okay. So then, you know, what I want you to understand is, you know, when you're fouling that ball off or you're swinging or missing, you probably are swinging down, but you still don't have a good enough angle to the baseball. So I want you to learn to just adjust that angle and swing down more. So as I'm feeding baseballs, if he'll pop it, I'll go, you got it, you're close. Come on, swing down a little bit more, chop down more. And you got to just kind of coax him or her through that little process of getting that right angle to the baseball. And when they get it, I'm telling you guys, it's like magic. And I know a couple of you dads here have, have, have seen me, you know, take your kids through that process and it's like magic, okay? So, I, you know, w the thing about my style of teaching and why I think this video is going to be a, a little unique is, you know, 
I try, I, I get, I have a lot of these little stupid mottos, but one of my mottos is, and these guys have heard a thousand times, is I'm trying to teach, you know, I'm talking to the student now, I'm trying to teach you how to teach yourself how to hit, okay? So another motto I have is, what did it do, what does it mean, and how do you fix it? And my students are sick of hearing it. But it's really, that becomes their mantra when they're out there hitting on their own. When I say, what did it do, meaning, what did the baseball do? That baseball is going to teach that student every time he swings at it what he did right and what he did wrong in that swing, okay? So I have a golden rule for hitting. You know, I, I never let a student leave my first session without getting my golden rule. And my golden rule is whenever you swing and miss, you pop it up or you foul it back, it's because you didn't swing down to the baseball. Golden rule. I, I tell all my students, I said, listen, if for some reason I never see you again after today, that is going to be the most important thing you ever learn for hitting. And I, I can confidently tell you, it's, you'll, Vinny will testify, it doesn't matter through college, through professional baseball, that rule is the most important rule that you'll ever learn for hitting. Okay? So again, little Johnny, I feed him a baseball, he swings and misses. Johnny, what does that mean? I didn't swing down. Okay, come on, let's go, fix it. Toss him a baseball, he swings out a little bit more, he pops it up, I go, okay, good, that's better. Now come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Feed him a baseball, boom, line drive. And the light goes off, ear to ear smile. You know, so what I'm teaching him to do is, you know, every time he swings at that baseball, he's gonna understand what just happened, what did that baseball do, what does that mean, and what, what's the fix? So when it comes to contact, we st and I probably was a little out of order, but you know, I started talking about power and where your power comes from early on in the seminar, and I probably should have saved that for a little later. But when it comes to contact, that golden rule is where you get your contact from. It has nothing to do with your lower half. It doesn't matter what they do with their lower half. It has nothing to do with whether they make contact with the baseball.